everyone and welcome to the Anime Delia and thank you for joining me as we talk about chapter 182 of the We Never Learn manga series. A chapter that gives us a bit more insight into Naruki's reasonings for liking Miss Kirisu. And the return of Mahiru is here. So we have Mahiru Kirisu entering this route and it was really nice seeing this character after a really long time. I actually forgot that she existed until this chapter. So that's how long it's been since we last saw her. However, she does play her role in this chapter of leading Naruyuki to all of her big sister's favourite places and getting the story as to why Naruyuki likes her big sister. Now, this story is out in the opening and honestly, I just liked seeing Mahiru's disguises and her personality. She added a nice boost of energy into this chapter. Honestly, this chapter wasn't the greatest, but having her in it made it a little bit more interesting. And so that, I just have to thank. So then let's talk about the flashback. That's the main thing. Well, second main thing, if you will. It turns out that Nariyuki and Kirisu, the teacher, have had a fireworks festival encounter once in our main timeline and another one back when Kirisu was in high school. Now, I wasn't the biggest fan of this flashback and the reveal that came with it. However, I did love seeing the sad and lonely expressions on this younger Kirisu's face, as it paired perfectly with the final set of panels from this chapter. In this flashback, we see Kirisu all alone um, with her expressions of sadness, loneliness. And that's until a younger Nariyuki sees her and... They start chatting, they start looking for Nariyuki's father, and then this promise is made. Basically, once Nariyuki is a grown-up, the context and the reasoning behind this promise will then be fulfilled. We don't actually know what that means, so we have to stay tuned and find out what that is. So then, this is what's driving Nariyuki to become this man that's worthy for Miss Kirisu. And... He's now learning underneath her as a teacher in world history like she is in hoping to prove that one day he's good enough for her. Now call me crazy, but that sounds a little stalkerish. Just a little bit. However, that all being said, I honestly don't think that Nariyuki fully believes that he's at the level of worthiness to be able to confess his love confidently. We learn in this chapter that he's been studying so much to become someone who is worthy of being able to express their feelings confidently to her, and I still don't think he's at that level yet. As whenever he has told Kirisu that he likes her, it's always been that phrase. It's always been, I like you, not I love you. Now, if you love someone and you want to start a relationship with them and you want to be with them, you're going to tell them that you love them. That is the most you can tell someone um, that you want to start a relationship with, how you feel, and express yourself the most. But he's not doing that. So that leads me to believe that Nariyuki doesn't fully believe that he's at that level of worthiness, that he can confidently do it without being rejected. Now, we know he's been rejected twice as of this chapter, but at the same time, uh, he's just going to have to keep trying, I suppose. Like I said, this chapter wasn't all that exciting, apart from seeing um, the returning character again. And that last page in this chapter was what piqued my interest the most. As we see Kirisu state that she can't let anyone in. This intrigues me as it makes me wonder just how bad was her school life. We know that she had to dedicate hours to her ice skating career, meaning that she couldn't spend much time with friends or people. Um... But this chapter ends making us, as readers, think that there's more to the story. As she looks to be stood behind a group of people, and they're laughing. They're having fun. Now, could they be laughing at her? Could these kids be teasing a younger Miss Kirisu? To the point where no one dares to be around her, thus making her lonely and sad. Now, they, this could link with... Uh, the way we see her in that flashback at that young age in that festival where she sees younger Nariyuki. 
Of course, like I said, she's looking sad and lonely. So, is Miss Kirisu, for some reason, not having any friends? Because the way that she's been drawn and her design, I'm sure loads of people would love to be friends with her. So what's the reasoning? If something so bad actually did happen, to make a younger Kirisu become this character that's all alone and people are avoiding her, then we need to know what that is. And Yuriga needs to know what that is in order to kind of prove to her that he's not going to be like that. Now, I don't honestly know the answer, but if I had to have a guess, I would say that she may have had a close friend that maybe humiliated her by betraying her in an unspeakable way. Hence to why she's closing herself off and isn't letting anyone in. Throughout the entire series, we've seen Kirisu be very, very stern, very... Um, I don't want to say rude, because she's not rude. She's just been very closed off and very caged. So this obviously has to lead somewhere. Now, I'll be very interested to see what you think about this chapter. If you think um, there is something deeper to Kirisu's character, and if so, what do you think it is? What do you think Kirisu's re reasoning actually means? I'd love to know what you think. But yeah, honestly, all I can think of is that maybe someone very close to her betrayed her, causing the whole school to kind of avoid her because, oh, there's something bad, there's a rumour going around. And that, of course, in turn, made Kirisu close her heart off and become this ice princess persona that we have to kind of thaw out, I suppose. But yeah, that's all I've got, really. Like I said, I want to know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Like the video if you did. Subscribe if you're new so you never miss a video from me. Um, check out all my other videos if you haven't already. And uh, I hope you have an amazing day. Aligato, matane, goodbye. Oh, the app was pretty good as well. I'll add that in. The art was fantastic, and it has been throughout this route so far. Just the story's a little bit lacking. Not really behind the Kirisu route that much at the moment. Still though, a little bit intrigued. Hopefully you enjoyed the chapter. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. But yeah, finally, alligator, matane, goodbye.